Hey everybody, Durag back at it again with another update on Ground Branch. I just wanted to make this video to let you guys know that the developers are working very hard to get a bunch of new updates and content out there. It's a bunch of content that we are going to be looking at and talking about for this video. For anybody that's new to the channel and doesn't know what Ground Branch is, let me just give you a quick summary. Basically, it's from the original creators that brought you the original Rainbow Six and Ghost Recon series, and it's been quoted by the devs as a true first-person tactical shooter with a lot of customization. Now, this game is very early. Early. So it's basically a work in progress, but you can get it on Steam. Link will be in the description. So let's get into the updates. So I'm going to start with a couple of maps that are going to be dropped. There are three to be exact. The first one that we're going to be talking about is a airplane map. This is a map where we as operators need to find and kill all hostiles. Honestly, it reminds me a lot of the map that we've seen in Rainbow Six Siege. It's almost as if they got that idea from there. But I gotta say, this is a well-detailed map. I mean, it's not finished yet, but it looks very nice. And as you can see in the replay that I'm playing for you, this would be a really nice map to actually try and take out hostiles with, whether it be during the multiplayer or playing solo or co-op. It just looks really cool. The thing about these three maps that I'm going to be showing you is that they seem to be very high quality, like a lot more than I thought it was going to be. The next map on the list that we are going to be talking about is probably the most unfinished map out of the three, but it's still a pretty cool looking map because you can get the gist of what it is. So what is the map? Well, it's an oil rig. Man, wouldn't it be really cool to fight rogue oil rig workers? That would be just so cool. I could just imagine now the character models. Like they're wearing construction gear, but they have oil splashed on them. And you know another thing that would be really cool? To see the flame coming out of a smokestack. Just imagine that thing burning so fast and so hard. Oh man, playing it at night. And you try to like look up at the smokestack, but you have night vision goggles on, it just blinds you. <laughs> that would be so cool. I'll be real. The last map that we are going to be talking about is probably my most favorite map out of the three. And I would say that it's probably the most polished out of all of them. And that is the city map. I am just in shock and awe on how good this map looks. The skyscrapers are always what get me like, whoa, that looks cool. I really like the way that this map looks, but I have to wonder what type of people we're going to be fighting here. Like just your regular run of the mill people like wearing hoodies and stuff or what? Hoodies and baseball caps. While this map looks really good on the surface, it also has an underground subway system. It's not that big, but it's big enough for people to like walk around in and look around. And man, that it looks really cool underneath too like this is just an all-around cool looking map and i'm glad that they're making this because oh, i like the way that it looks because this map looks really cool i think i want to just stop talking and just let let my let my editing go into play here with the music in the background The next thing that we're going to be talking about is a sound overhaul that will be coming in the next couple of updates. This was confirmed by one of the developers when he said this. It'll be a complete overhaul. We're switching to a middleware, which means a completely new sound engine. Logic behind triggering sound effects and new reverb system. It'll come in phases. First two will be focused on guns, with the first being gunfire and reload overhaul. And the second one is bullet cracks, shell casings, and mag drops, etc. Movement sound effects will be next. And the last phase 
series will be focused on sound level design. After all that is done, I'll use a plugin that alters the acoustics in game, resulting in very close to binaural effects on regular stereo headphones. Very long road ahead of us when it comes to sound design. A lot of people ask me when the sound will be updated and well, here's your answer fairly soon. And the last thing that we're going to be talking about is something that isn't really new, but it might be new to some of you that are watching. But basically what's going on is that I would get a lot of comments of people saying that they would like to get the game, but the animations just don't look right. Well, the developers have put up a 3D animator wanted sign. I guess they garnered enough money to actually get one, which is pretty cool because finally Ground Branch is going to get an animator. I really hope that this person will help the Ground Branch team because that's just what the game needs. It just needs an animator because the current animations right now are very wonky. I mean, the animations are tolerable, but they could use an improvement. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this update on Ground Branch because I enjoyed hearing about it and can't wait to see what comes in the future. I'm definitely going to be doing some Ground Branch videos in the future. I think I might finish up my solo series where I do every mission on solo, uh, whether that be in the dark and on the light. But yeah, all right. I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.